The 70s called and they want their dessert back. So today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make these heavenly seven layer bars. These are full of chocolatey butterscotch goodness and have a perfect crunch to them. This dessert is dangerously good, so let me show you how to make them. To start, we need to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We need to make our graham cracker crust, so we can do this two ways. Put it in the food processor, or put it in a bag and go to town on it. I'm using a food processor, and in that I'm going to add in 15 to 16 full sheets of graham crackers. Give those a pulse until they're crushed up like wet sand. In a 9 by 13 pan, we're going to add in half a cup of salted butter. Pop that into your preheated oven until it becomes brown and bubbly. Depending on how cold your butter is, that can take anywhere from 4 to 6 minutes. I'm all about browning butter because it brings on such depth and delicious flavors. But if you want to simply melt it in the microwave or the stove top, that works just fine. Remove the melted brown butter from the oven and carefully sprinkle into that 2 cups of crushed up graham crackers, pushing those crumbs into that melted butter with a spatula. Take your time on this step as you want that butter to be evenly distributed between the crumbs and spread that out. Onto the graham cracker layer, sprinkle one cup of chocolate chips. You could go dark or milk chocolate, whatever you prefer. Next, sprinkle on one cup of butterscotch chips. You could also use a delicious uh, peanut butter chips. That would be a fun way to do it. Half a cup of toffee bits. One cup of chopped nuts. I'm using pecans, but peanuts or walnuts are also a great option too. If you need to leave them out, this recipe is still going to be delicious. Then sprinkle that coconut like snow over the top of everything else. Now the glue that's going to hold all these layers together is sweet and condensed milk. Drizzle a 14 ounce can of this over all of those layers. Pop that into the oven where it's going to bake for about 18 to 20 minutes or until the top of that gets a nice, rich, golden color. Let those cool completely before you slice them up and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.